Welcome back, and this will be the second part of the Merfolk Gladiator Let's Play. Uh, it should be noted that I've actually been about a day or so since I've uh, done anything for the Let's Play, but um, I expect I'll probably die this time around. So, we picked our guy last time, made to uh, level 5. Let's continue. Ah, I see. A bookshop. Now, this is, shops are where you can spend gold, and um, generally uh, they have some good stuff you want to look into. I don't see a bookshop, though. Let's uh, see what some of this stuff does. If you press like question mark and press on stuff, let's see what this one does. Rest reference book. Um, it uh, basically is an ancient artifact that lets you do a few summon memorizations. Nothing too special, I don't think. Young Poisonous Handbook. That's the, st the star book for young uh, or for poison or for venom masters, venom elementals. Uh, a couple other ones. We have like Book of the Build Edition. That's um, something that I believe arcane archers start with. And we have uh, spatial translocations. That's like for like warpers. Book of Air. That's one for like air elementalists. Cat cantrips. Uh, I'm not sure what book that is about, but it's got some interesting, interesting stuff in there. All level one spells. Um, I probably won't be buying anything, but let's look through them. Uh, this is a transmutation book. Book of Dreams. Apparently, that's one around. Uh, uh, basically, stuff that will. Do stuff to you, I guess, and other monsters. Maledictions, that's uh, one for enchanters. And the other one's just catnips up there, so I'm not going to buy any of this. I don't think I'll benefit too much from it, so we're skipping it. What I think I'll be looking for, um, if we go to my little file, I basically know what stuff I was going to look for. So like ice or poison magic, I might get the poison stuff eventually, but for now we'll ignore it. Charms is another thing I might get a little after. But I can't afford any of it anyway for now, so we'll come back later perhaps. And guess who's back for round two? Of course this time I can possibly blow them to smithereens. So let's do that. Bye bye. You blast them. All right, so Manko is actually a mummy, and what happens when you uh, battle mummies is that sometimes they'll curse your equipment up under death and or other stuff. But anyways, Manko is dead, and we are done for. Or oh boy, the centaur. All right, um, we are going to back off. Right to here. Oh crap, he's got uh, arrows of dispersal. Uh, basically what those do is that they'll make you um, teleport away. I want to kill this guy. Oh, he's just being annoying. Okay, so I'll make it like, move that way. Oh, it's annoying. Send me all over the place. Alright, um... We're gonna... Oh, oh, that's not good. I blinked, but that wasn't where I wanted to blink to. Uh, guessing I control that. Alright, let's see if I can do anything about him before he kills me. Let's try this. Uh, I didn't do anything. Try another one. Okay. 
Oh boy, he's just being annoying. Uh, potion of curing. And also note that he's a lot faster than me. We're escaping. Uh, that's a bit of a crapshoot there. That would have been a very quick Let's Play finish, don't you think? I just start in and boom, I get killed by a stupid centaur. Centaurs are not out of death monsters, but for how difficult they are, they should be at this level. I mean, ogres are less difficult than them. Because that one had you know, something that you don't usually see. Blinking isn't uh, something that you should expect every monster to be able to do to you. All right, let's uh, continue on. Now, I'll note that Okwar is a war god. He likes it when you uh, sacrifice stuff, but we're just going to push this first. Actually, you know what? Let's just be quick about it. I'm actually uploading the first Let's Plays for this uh, um, game that I'll be doing. Like you call Stone Soup. A spear, we'll pick it up. I, I might throw that spear. You can actually throw certain weapons like spears and hand axes. I think they do more damage, which is a reason to use them. These ways don't seem to be doing anything range, so we're just going to try popping them. Pick up this. Like, basically, um, you can use it uh, with one hand, effectively with two, and long as I can put a blade at one end, and it can be held or thrown. So, if you control and click, and you can throw it. I'm always being annoying. Okay, we got him. I've got to watch out for the center now. For the most part, we've almost done exploring. Uh, we just have to go over here, maybe. Uh, up here is also not explored. We'll go down here first, just because away from... Whoa! My key's got a little sticky there. Nothing here. You should probably know that if you press shift, you can avoid stuff like that. It just stops you when something interesting comes into view, like a monster. Grinder! Oh, we got two uniques. Grinder's another unique. Uh, he's kind of dangerous, but he's not as dangerous as Mankar, I don't think. He can paralyze you. So I assume today he's not dangerous, but... Throw a couple stones at him. Oh, he shot me pain. Oh, he paralyzed me. He's almost dead. Where'd he blink to? That's kind of annoying. I almost got him dead and he ran away. I'll probably note something. Um, you don't see me eating a lot, but you should probably very be very careful of uh, your um, citation level. Basically, the more uh, hungry you get, the more chances is that you, it, um, something bad could happen. Basically, what I'm saying is, as you get hungrier, 
it gets harder and harder for your character to fight. Uh, at starving, for example, you start to have hip felonies, and at very hungry, you can't berserk as a berserker. Ghouls, they rot faster. Lots of stuff, so... I'm not really worried about it, because it's not exactly too important to me. Oh, we got a quiver. Um, this is where these stones are good. Basically, let's say I try and throw uh, the spear on just to demonstrate. You throw the spear, the spear hits the jelly, you hear a slippery noise, it ate the spear. So, don't throw stuff like uh, anything other than stones if you're going to hit a jelly. Jellies are pretty badass too. They're slower than you, but they're badass. Basically, they can degrade your equipment if they uh, hit you. Or if you hit them. That's why I'm not hitting the spear at all. As you can see, it's eating up stuff too. Oh, I got a worm. But it's slower. And also, every time you eat something, it gets uh, health, so... You generally want to avoid eating stuff. Not sure it's smart to eat a thing that's next to it. No, it's not. Alright, this is probably a bad idea, but let's hit it. You hit the jelly, the acid controls your, tr your trident, so as you can see, it's been corroded a little bit. You hit the jelly, and it's dead. But you generally shouldn't attack jellies with your weapons, or unless you have a junk weapon. You're starving. Doink. Not starving anymore. Alright, I got enough stones. You know what, we're gonna eat this goblin. Basically, I don't care about getting nausea if I'm near my set. Let's do this shift. I'm gonna run into that. Uh, centaur soon. I know it. There he is. Here he comes. I blink. Oh, look at this. He's in melee. So guess what? He's going to switch to melee. And he's dead. Centaurs aren't too bad in melee. Oh, he actually ran out of arrows, so it didn't really matter. And they give a lot of flesh. It's edible. Nice. Troubles a little mid uh, center that thing was. Shouldn't say Manitar. There is Manitars in the game, but you don't fight them that much. Let's just search around. Where am I going? Don't explore. Okay. So at this point. Um, I got God. Damn, I'm getting hungry again. I've got God and... I was actually going to see what uh, Okara did for you guys. This is where Wookiee's good. You can go look for your God or the you to gods. Um... Okra is a melee guy, but he's unlike Trog in that uh, he lets you cast spells. Trog's more of a I hate magic users and doesn't like it when you when you uh, cast spells. But Okra doesn't really care. All right, so um, he likes it when he kills stuff and sacrifice courses, but he doesn't like it when you attack your allies. You let your allies die. And um, you lose pay to you if you don't kill stuff. What's nice about it is that uh, he um, 
basically will uh, give you these like benefits like uh, increasing your uh, non magical skills like axe fighting, no skill plus 27, of course. Um, you get no, no HP from that, but it's, it's like it's some nice, nice stuff. And what's really nice about like is gifts. Uh, if you have like high um, high weapon skill, like in throwing, you can get like some nice javelins uh, or blowguns. And you can also get weapons and armor, so it's nice. On a peasant, so he'll start to send stuff to kill you. Alright, let's go down. And we're against the hound. A phantom! Phantoms are kind of fun. They blink, like that. Oops. Blinking, blinking, blinking. All right, he's dead. Got our stones already. I'm getting hungry. Ah, perfect. Meal time. Damn it, he didn't drop anything for me. Ah, uh, Meal time. Damn it. Again. Oh boy. Uh, Pickle is another unique, and he's actually a very dangerous unique. His whips are usually very, very powerful. They do a lot of damage, so uh, I'm going to grab this and run away. Do 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 do. Faster than me. You got a problem if he's faster than me. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so we're gonna run up the staircase. Grinder, apparently. I never did kill the grinder. Whatever. Uh, he is faster than me. It's basically um, his whip can do a lot of damage, so I don't want him near me. Let's uh. Try doing this to him. Let's miss him. Okay, let's try it again. All right, good. Back off a bit. Um, we'll equip this. We're gonna fire at him with the poison needles and poison him. What else we got here? I got poison, poison, and poison. Okay, he's free, but I can poison a bit more. You can poison him really, really badly, so. Oh, he p healed himself. He's got a potion of curing on him. So it's not like it's going to help him too much. That poison will eat through him pretty badly. I'm near starving. Poison's gone. Let's just do a bit more. Okay, we got him. That was a bit difficult, but we killed him. I don't know what his glowing whip does, but it didn't really hit me, luckily. Alright, uh... Well, let's go back down and pick up some humans. Alright, they're freed. You'll note that after you free, uh, or if, after you uh, kill Pickle, if you have these slaves around, they're going to be freed, and they're basically going to be your allies. It's not a bad thing. I mean, they kill kill stuff for you, but you don't get experience when they kill stuff.
Eat. You know what? I actually forgot to do something. Uh, we want to go back up here. And, um, where did Pickle die? Did he die up here? Yeah, he died up here. We'll go up here. And this is corpse. If you pray over it, you will, uh, sacrifice it to the, like, appropriate god, so good to know. Oh, an orc. orc. Kill him. Eat him. There we go. Let's see what's down here. Dwarven ringmail. I got bear armor. I've been poisoned. Poison's not good. Eat. Sacrifice this bat. A crooked bronze wand. That's nice. Oh, we got a nice piece. These are kind of dangerous. They can kind of hurt quite a bit. And he's resistant to poison, so I can't do the trick what I did with uh, Pickle. Uh, let's try killing him. Oh, he hit me hard. All right, let's see if we can get him. Pow. Okay, we got him. Actually, let's, let's look at my skills. So as, as I've been, you know, fighting, my skills have gone up a little bit. Uh, some of these are, are in gray. I don't really use them, but I have used on occasion of wands. So those are like invocations. Invocations is for gods. Uh, Spellcasting is for spells, of course. All spells. Why is this uh, not playing anymore? Problems loading page. Ah, oh, damn it. Sound, please. I don't have to keep turning on and off my mic. Uh, so other things like stabbing, stealth. I those are kind of important, but I haven't been using them very much. Pull arms, throwing, shields, fighting. Awesome. Uh, you can also, like, as I said, like, specialize in skills. So let's say I want to specialize in pull arms, I could click on it. I couldn't do it in uh, tutorial, I don't know why, but... You can also not train them at all. I'm just going to leave them train as I use them. Excellent, I want those needles. Ooh, another eyeball. Alright, so it stared at me and I signed the last ability to move. I can move again. He stared at me again, but I resisted. It's not like a dangerous monster, but the paralyzation can be bad if there's other monsters around. Let's uh, sacrifice him. And keep moving. There's a priest. We'll sacrifice this priest. Feeling hungry, so it's time to eat again. A ruined ringmail. This might be worth it. That's nice. Okay, so we got uh, this, which is a bit more armor, but this has... Basically, uh, as you get stronger armor, the evasion modifiers go down, and the armoring, armorings will go up. So, ringmail is weaker in armor, but if you look at the evasion rate, this is like double it. And I get like... Only two extra armor. It's good if you want to, uh, you know, not focus on spells, but I actually kind of do. Um, eventually. Uh, well, where it is for now. I don't need to drop either, so if I find a spell book of, like, ice... Uh-oh. Uh, as I said, there's some, like, dangerous uniques, and this is one of them. Comparably, possibly the most dangerous of the uniques uh, you can face early on. Sigma is basically a spellcaster who has like a, a combination of delusion and greatness with nasty tactics. And that's pretty much a, a good description of him. He can basically really, really mess you up. We're just gonna, whoops. Uh, 
back off. And we're just going to wait for him to get closer. I want to melee him if possible. Because he'll melee me. He's not as strong as melee as he is at range, so. Get into melee if you can. Oh, he confused me. That's bad. I'm confused. Whee! Oh, he, he went invisible. Confused that I can't have full control where I move, so. Okay, I'm gonna guess he's over here. There he is. This is really bad attacking him this way, but I am at full health and I might kill him. There we go! I killed Sigmund, the invisible. So yes, yes, if you ever run into Sigmund, my advice to you, if you can get him into melee, do so and you can have a bit easier time. If uh, you find him at range, he can be kind of nasty, he can spawn wands or spells, and his spells do quite a bit of damage, so basically be careful around him. He carries a nice scythe sometimes, but uh, nothing too great. Boy, your robe. How much does this do? Not bad. Take off Sigmund. We'll put Chainmail on, bro. Ah, uh, let's cut Sigmund and eat him. Mmm, Sigmund. And we'll leave him again. Alright. How much left? Here's one of those humans that he was running around. He killed it. Offer it to Okararu. Down we go. Deeper and deeper I go. Uh oh. Um, as I said, black bears can be very dangerous. Uh, so we're gonna back off. And you know, we're gonna test our wand to see what this does. If he starts to resist, let's try a gecko. Polymorph! Um, that's kind of useful. Let's polymorph one of the black bears. Human! Humans aren't too dangerous, so... That's not bad. Uh, we will back off, though. Should I? No, we'll do this to him. Pro with this, will him and leave it. Is he slower to me? Alright, killed it. Yes, yeah, be careful of the bears. I got lucky there, he didn't berserk me or anything, so. Uh, this is an altar to Trog, so he's just hovering around it because, you know, it's Trog's altar. Oh boy. Lots and lots of works. Uh well let's try and kill him all. Pow. Ow! The prince the free spite me from all the way back there. Ow, he spied me again. Ow again. See so yeah, priests can be pretty bad. Always try and kill priests first, but I didn't have that option. And none of them dropped a corpse for me, damn it. Ah, uh, oh well. Let's heal up a bit. I'm hungry. Uh oh. Distance slipping is moist means there's jellies on the level, so. We'll take this and this. Actually, why am I taking this? These won't help me. Ooh, a book! No! I fell through a shaft! I'm now in dungeon level 10. Ah, uh, remember Castle of the Winds? How I always used to follow through trap doors. Guess what I'm gonna do here in this uh, Let's Play Two? All right, you know what? Let's try testing out some of these uh, things. Glug glug glug. That was a potion of brilliance, so that makes me smarter. That's kind of nice, but I don't have any spellbooks or anything to make use of it. So let's carry on. This is a scroll of acquirement. Oh, this is nice. Scrolls of acquirement are really rare scrolls, but they basically allow you to acquire stuff. 
Uh, we're going to try to acquire, um, let's try a book. Something appears at your feet. A leather bound manual. Uh, this is a manual of pole arms. Do you want to study it? Yes. You start studying the pole arms. Uh, I don't know what this does. I, I've heard this is really nice for creating your um, pull arm skill. I don't know what this does. Let's see. Manuals are a rare book that greatly speed the rate which you train your skills uh, by applying a plus four bonus to your skill aptitude. Manuals are actually by reading them and deactivating them by reading them again or dropping them. Each man has a limited amount of experience you can pry. Once the mount is reached, the mount is destroyed. You can only study a manual if you have access to the skill teaches. Weapon skill requires a proper skill in your inventory. Arm skill requires you wear some form of, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's actually really nice. I'm actually going to make nice use of this manual. Uh, let's see what the other stuff does. Um, let's maybe see if this is identify. Nothing happens. Nope. All right, let's see if this is a nearby. Yes, it is. Good. Good. Try this. That's the scroll of identify. This is a scroll of enchant armor. All night. Um. All right, so let's carry on. Oh, Orcus mine. So there's a branch. I won't go down there yet because I don't feel like you know getting killed. We'll go up though. Hmm. That might be a bad idea to stay here, but let's try pulling these guys. Uh oh. Uh, Hippogriff, uh, that can be kind of dangerous. Uh, let's kill this guy. Go downstairs. Okay, I don't want to go up that stairway. Uh, we want to rest a little bit. Oh, uh, we got another hippogriff. Um, I'm not sure these are too dangerous, but I don't want to take too many chances. We'll fire some needles at. Poison bit. It seems sicker. If it gets even sicker, that will make it take more poison damage, so it's always good to poison them more and more. Uh, one, two. Wield. Pop. Uh-oh. Uh, back off. Let's see, maybe poison will kill it. Yeah, there we go. Poison got it. Uh, fire some stones at the ice beast. Try laying it yet. And I kill it. Alright, I'm hungry again. Do I want to eat? Do yeah. Oh, he's really big. Um, you know what? Let's pray. He's most pleased with me. That's good. All right, let's go up here. Yes, this is good here. Oh, there's a scorpion. That's kind of dangerous. Um, scorpions are poisoning monsters, and they may look easy, but they can be da dangerous, so, uh, it's a substance of poison, so, yeah, I was poisoned a bit. Looks even sicker. Equip this, uh, throw a stone. Grab these, these are gauntlets. Oh, they're cursed! Oh, well, it looks like they don't do anything else, but it kind of sucks that they're cursed. I can't take them off now. Up. Oh, boy, we just fell right through a few levels. Oh, no. A roll call is an uh, ogre, I believe. That's not good. Uh, what do I want to do here? Move back, maybe? Yes. Uh, she's been cutting over me, so I don't want to mess, mess with her too much. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll flee. 
I'll go to the nurse stairway up. Oh no, a phantom. He's a blinking. More experience for me. And a goblin. And a frog. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's hit this guy with a stone. Kill the goblin. And we'll eat the hobgoblin. Oh no, not another one of these guys. Okay, uh, charge. Keep charging. Alright. We killed the bastard. Oh. The human dies and the human rises from the dead. Oh no, another ice beast? Okay, uh, what should I do here? Mm. Oh, let's try finding it. Hopefully it doesn't hit me too much. Oh, I killed it. Hobgoblin. Uh-oh. Must have picked up a stone, that stupid imp. Oh no! Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, damn it. Unique here, unique there, unique, unique everywhere. Um, this is a pair unique. Basically, um, it's a bad idea to try fighting them. Uh, well, actually it's not a bad idea to fight them. I could probably kill them, but it'd be kind of dangerous. Let's try polymorphing. Um, Divosa. She resists. Uh oh. Okay, let's just go down. Um, actually, let's try fighting. Oh, damn it, they're hurting me quite a bit. Hmm. Let's try this. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Probably not a bad, big idea if I am both. What do I want to do here? Alright, let's try disintegrating the Divisa. And we'll try it again. So yes, this is what sometimes happens when you disintegrate something. It blows it into pieces. Now, there's, there's something to note here. These guys don't like it when you kill their siblings. Uh, so now he's very pe um, overcome with grief. And uh, he's not going to try and kill me in all out glory. So he's going to have a much more powerful skill list to use. And he's going to use it on me badly. Um, let's see if I can do this to him. If I can catch him in a net, I might be able to win. Okay. Disintegrate him. Blasted. He struggles against the net. Can I do it again? There, I won. It was a hard fight, but I won. Going dagger. Oh no. I fell through a teleport trap. Okay, we're going to stay here. I need to eat up and heal up. Alright, so I'm alive. I survived that uh, um, episode. I'm not dead. Let's find a stairway up. Let's see. Ruined? Oh, that's nice. Fire resistance. Okay, that beats... That just beats everything else that I've got. Use this. How am I skill doing? I'm getting a lot of polearm skill now. 
Oh boy. Uh, let's see if I can do something with this guy. Uh, basically, if you hit giant spore, kaboom, they explode. Okay, we're going to close this door. Guess who's up by door? Time to die. What do I want to do here? I want to kill this. So I don't have a hunger issue at the moment. There's a teleport trap. Rotten meat. I'm going to sacrifice the Mintar. I'm pretty sure higher hit die monsters give you more piety. Alright, good. So we've made it back. Uh-oh. Kill this imp. Kill this ice beast. Uh, water mask can... Looks dangerous, but... Can it open doors? Nope. Not all monsters can open doors, so you can use that and abuse it. I just want to make it myself way over to his book, see if it's any good to... Feeling very hungry. There's the orcs I killed. And there's that book. Alright, I don't think I can get to that book. I want to, but... Uh, I might fall down that shaft. Should I risk it? Let's try again. Alright, excellent. I got the book. Now, it says this is a... Uh, beware for his powerful grimoires. This means it's a very powerful book. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, well, darkness is probably powerful, but uh, it's got some stuff in it. A portion, uh, swiftness, pass wall, troll teleport, that's kind of useful. We'll keep it for now. I might use it, I have no clue. Alright, let's look around. Oh, oh hound! Guess what I'm going to eat for... Dinner. Alright, let's uh, grab this and this. Kill this imp. Pop the toad. Uh, dead. I'm level 10! Woohoo! Oh, some orcs. Oh, this is one orc. Sacrifice him. Work ant. Sacrifice the ant. Uh, another. Sacrifice the mentor. Iguana, a cockroach. Iguanas are deceptively powerful, by the way. It says that they're easy, but they aren't, so you should be careful when you're fighting them. Ogre is good, please, with me at this point, though, so that's good. There's that warm out, come on, That's fine. Oopsie. I should have uh, sacrificed him. I can't eat poison. Uh, chunks of meat, so. That didn't benefit me much, uh, sac you know, cutting him up. Uh, let's go here. Aroka, the, the ogre mage is on this level, so I'll have to be careful. There's a jelly. 
Let's aim for the Jelly of the Stones. All right, let's see what damage we can do to this jelly. Ah, kill this bat. As you can see, my giant's taking this hell loads of damage. It's gonna get destroyed by jellies soon, but I'm not careful. Get over here, orc. I'll have to pick up a new trident soon, just because I'm running out of uh, durability in my current one. Overall, that's my kill. There's that where the overmage was. Uh, there's Vehump. He's a ma god of magic. Aroka. Uh oh. Joseph is uh, kind of dangerous. I'm running into uniques all over the place in this level. Kind of annoying. Uh, ouch. And let's step into this. That wasn't exactly better. Um, Rory. Let's see how much damage this thing will do to me. Yeah, it's going to hurt me. The good thing about Goliath Beetles, though, is that they, uh, they're slow. So I can tr possibly outrun. Him. I'm not sure they can open doors either, so let's see. Nope, we can't open the door. Uh, open? And backed off too. Let's try throwing some stuff at. Poking it from a distance. I'm not doing damage to it either. Well, not much damage. It's taking damage. This is not taking a lot. I'm hungry, though. I want to eat it. I think you need go beetles. Oh, there's a frog. Kill a frog first and eat him. Ah, kill it. He didn't give me anything. Okay, open. Oh, yeah. At the rate I'm going, I'll eventually kill it. Probably should have poisoned this. Damn it. Okay, what do I want to do here? I want to back off. Give me a corpse. Damn it. No. Yeah, let's do this. Do this. Open. Poison it. Uh oh. Ah, he's attacking me. Well, I might be able to kill him with poison. I'm your star, and that's not good. But maybe I can keep poisoning him and then he'll. Did he run out? No, but he's he's still pelting me. All right, uh, let's try this. Ah, uh, he's taking lots of damage on me. Um, disintegration. He's totally resisted it. Damn it. Uh, try again. Oh, he's almost got me. Alright. Um. Hmm. What do I want to try here? Maybe this? Yeah, I, I would not mean make it any close. Let's try again. Uh, he's almost got me, but. I'm not doing good, do good with the nets. There we go. 
Okay. Uh, I should probably try and get away. But we're going to try and get into Malie. We'll take him out. Oh, he's got Glencore staff. Ah, oh, he's just dangerous, isn't he? Um, I'm near starving too, so it's not good. Uh, let's blink. Oh, good, I got control blinking. Uh, blink here. Hmm. Let's close the door. Try backing off. Back that. Close this door. Maybe the poison will kill him if I'm lucky. Oh, he see me. And I died. Well, that was my adventures with my commercial gladiator. He made a lot of fire, but I didn't get killed by it. It's unique. Alright, so... Looks like, uh, you know, I ended up with these curse, but some of this other stuff. I been curse armor, scrolls and emulation. Having the potion of confusion in there, too. Uh, I was thinking about possibly using potions, but looks like I didn't have any healings on, so it's a good thing I didn't. Uh, oh well. Better luck next time. Looks like the disintegration one was out, too. Oh well. I made it to, uh, twice the amount of levels this time around, so that's good. Perhaps I'll do better next time. Don't need this anymore. And you will be able to see all my Let's Plays soon. So, copy, paste, save. And I'll See you in the next Let's Play.